one. All right, so here's here where it says from uh, Young Ye, yeah, for those who know who he is. He had some controversy that happened with him with the, that game from way back when, but he's, he's, a, he's a pretty good reporter, I believe. So he says here that key, key, keyword studios admit AI can't replace human talent after failing to make game with AI only. So let's see what he says. AI is something that we're going to have to discuss. It's something that we do have to contend with, whether we like it or not, because the technology is probably here to stay. It's not going anywhere for good or for bad. And what makes AI so scary is how powerful it is. On one hand, a powerful tool also means that it can do a lot and help certain processes and when used for good can do a lot of great things. But when bad actors get their hands on it, you never know what they could do with that. With AI in particular, for example, there are plenty of people highlighting how there's a lot of deep fake stuff happening, both in terms of imagery and in terms of audio, where they replicate uh, people's uh, likeness in terms of voice and face and create all kinds of ultra realistic sounding audio or looking images that can pave the road to a lot of misinformation. And uh, there are plenty of people arguing for the fact that AI just essentially learns by stealing other people's work and outputting its own version based on that uh, kind of uh, conglomeration. But on the other hand, there's an argument to be made for how when AI is used appropriately and leveraged properly, it can be a powerful tool in the workplace where artists, for example, can utilize it to make certain processes that would be tedious, a lot more efficient. But then no doubt there are, you know, entities like corporate heads aiming to look into the possibility of Darth reducing Gord the Gord. workforce and making so game development make cheap. AI audio and replace his awful audio in the game he voiced in. Correct. Correct. Beanbag. What was the person up in here saying all of that? I don't know. Someone who was on something. I don't know. By replacing Beanbag. workers with AI Brilliant. and allowing automated processes to handle human artistic work. And that's kind of the thing that we don't want. And so a lot of questions and a lot of unknowns about this new era that we live in as AI begins to become normalized and commonplace. Now, one company decided to do an experiment revolving around can AI, can generative AI actually make a whole game Darth by Boricorn. itself and replace Please workers and AI artists. And this is something that new salad it. game developer.com <laughs> covered. And fortunately, currently, the, the answer to that, that question is a resounding no. They're no, not banned from the stream. I don't. I I'm not. I didn't take whatever they said seriously. Um, if they were serious about it, they don't have to tell me. Like uh, people telling other people, you're being bag. I forgot to tell you to make me a mod off stream. Yeah, I know, but like, I I don't know if he did. I I don't think Bry did, but I don't care because like. People who come to other people say I'm better than you are usually people who are not that good. It's like going up to someone saying I'm richer than you. If you're really that rich, Bean you bag. don't have to tell. People know. It's okay, like okay. It's like if Bill Gates was in the room and someone like who someone who's a real estate person, a computer person who makes a hundred thousand, or even a doctor, and if Bill Gates walk in the room, what do they gotta bring up their money against him? It's Bill Gates. Is Elon Musk? You know what I'm saying? It's like it's funny. Says he must start using references. The rain frog is funny looking already. There you go. <laughs> this is why I'm a teacher. <laughs> it makes sense. Can't draw so you can't see now, huh? Now, I have never seen like I've seen rain frogs before. I have Ryan never Gosselin drawn. Yet yeah, I couldn't tell if he was trolling or not. Bean. Yeah, I couldn't tell. I, at first, I think he was just I think he was just memeing. Because he didn't say anything after that. And he just kept on saying words every five seconds. So that proves to me that he was already pro. Like, if you're that good at drawing, you shouldn't be in here watching someone else draw. That's drawing badly. That doesn't make sense. That's like me who don't like feminists. I'm going in feminist, like, streams to tell feminists they're terrible. Why would I do this? Leave them alone. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? That's stupid. You're just looking for trouble. <laughs> I'm like, you're just an idiot. That's just another communist who doesn't have nothing better to do. Um, let me show you something here, Emma. I want to show you something. Oh, wait. Before I do that, let, let's Beanbag. run the video. I forgot that. That's okay, hun. Pretty Headline sure here reads, were. Keywords tried to make That's a game using Gen AI, but said the tech was unable to replace talent. 
And so this is the information that we know about that whole situation. So for those who don't know, Keywords is a pretty well-known studio that has worked on games like Alan Wake 2, Baldur's Gate 3, and The Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom, offering support and the like. Obviously, they're not the main studios behind those games, but they do offer uh, some development and support. And recently, as part of this experiment and research and development initiative, they tried to make a 2D video game relying solely on generative AI tools and technology. This was a project dubbed Project Ava. And what the project ultimately proved in the current stages of where this technology is at is that it's unable to replace talent. This was all done over the course of six months. This was a six month long process. And throughout it, they identified over 400 tools and they evaluated and utilized those with the best potential. Despite this, they ultimately utilized bench resource from seven different game developers. At Merrick, food is our love language. It has been for over 30 years, and it always will God, be. I hate that as we term, continue love crafting homestyle favorite. Stupid. I hate that stupid ass term, love language. Beaten to death by social media. That is a stupid term. Darth Goricorn. Project as Six a tool. Six is nothing in the time it takes to make games. Yeah. was unable to replace talent. And then this is a direct quote from them, their conclusion on this experiment. One of the key learnings was that whilst Gen AI may simplify or accelerate certain processes, the best results and quality needed can only be achieved by experts in their field utilizing Gen AI as a new powerful tool in their creative process. That's kind of the conclusion that people were hoping for. The fact that we're even asking the question of can artists be replaced at robots? Can automate art is already kind of scary, but at least it's good to hear that in this experiment, it was kind of proven that without the human component, art just isn't as good. AI can do many impressive things, but there's something about, you know, the soul of a human being or whatever you want to call it, their memories, their life experiences, and who they are uniquely as human beings that makes art possible that makes art have a certain unique voice and message you don't get Hideo Kojima games from AI you know what I mean if anything Hideo Kojima goes against all logic of what a video game should be if you want to you know maximize uh, monetization if you want to maximize sales and whatnot he recently made a game about delivering packages and forming connections with people, which is the complete opposite of the competitive type multiplayer games that tend to generate a lot of money and that tend to draw mass audiences. Kojima made his own art through his own voice, and you don't get that with to robots. To disregard with that what it can do by judging six months of work, he is highly underestimating what it can do long term with the right person leading it. You're not wrong. Out the kind of depth and breadth of life experiences that Kojima had without his unique mindset, without his unique way of thinking as an artist, that's what makes art art. It's the human component. Hell, I mean, think about the innovation of Soulsborne titles and how back when that genre wasn't normalized, how it went against all of the kind of uh, game design mentalities that you would have when it comes to what makes a game appealing, it almost sounded unappealing until people tried out this uh, kind of genre and experience that FromSoft came up with through their unique experiences as developers with a unique identity that stems from the fact that there are human beings who came together collectively towards a common goal with a common mindset and mentality with leaders who have a certain vision of the kinds of games that they want to make as unique human beings and artists. They came up with this thing that like AI would probably be like, we probably shouldn't make a game like this because it is not in accordance to the algorithm that says that people want to play a game like this. But the thing is, uh, you know, when humans are involved, they can experiment in ways that it's not about what is algorithmically correct. It's about trying things that they feel passionate about and that might resonate with others. And then suddenly a new genre is born and people are, you know, engaging in imitation is the best form of flattery, essentially, by creating their own souls likes. And it's like if AI is involved in making games, can they make uh, genre breaking or game design uh, sort of evolving or, or genre creating experiences like this? 
that feel so human in the way they came to life, if that makes sense. Like even if AI could output a functional video game, one has to wonder what kind of video game that would be and if it would be able to think outside the box and create experiences that, you know, have become highly successful because they're unique and are not following the trends that many, you know, like AAA games and publishers tend to. Uh, the stuff like that indie games can produce that, it's just so wildly uh, unique in their creativity that you don't know how they came up with this stuff. And, you know, can machines, can can something automated like AI and generative AI, can they think like that? I don't believe that's ever going to be the case because AI just doesn't know what it's like to live and to be human and to have those experiences and to have those powerful moments and memories in life that make you go okay, like I have a perspective, I have something to say that I feel like nobody else has said. And so I want to make something through some medium, whether it is a book or music or, or, or movies or games, whatever. I'm sorry, I understand that um, what he's saying is probably true to a human aspect component type shit. But when you stop and think about it, the thing is just a copy and pacer. That's really what it is. That's really what AI ultimately is. It copies and pastes based what it learns, right? So what what but but the the thing about that is if it makes games, it's just gonna take existing games that already exist and then just put them together based on what works best. So it might give you experience most positively, hopefully. But just to outright say it won't give you experience. Just yesterday, we was watching a, a video about a robot doing dishes. And it gave me an experience that I was thought I was talking to a real person. Not me, but when the dude was asking the question to the robot on how... Um, I, th I don't forget what the question was, but it asked the robot a question. The way it has inf uh, uh, inflections, it has uh, ums and, uh, and and pauses, and, and the way it did it sounded really human. So I don't think it will take it that long to figure out how to do certain things in games to make things fun, right? There's going to be some tweaking that some humans are going to be kind of going there and fix, Just but I don't porn. think it's going to be like... Most games are copy and pasting what other games do already. already. Yeah, and then movies too, right? Like, I can right now go to ChatGBT and say, ChatGBT, give me a story, a short story between... Uh, a short story in Supernatural inserting something, like something about Supernatural. They'll give me a short story between Dean and Sam, right? If you watch the show. And then... Give me a short story that they went into some city, some monsters attacking, because it knows the formula, because, because everything follows a formula. Like, let's use One Piece. One Piece is a formulaic type show. It is creative, yes, but if you really stop and look at how every episode or arc works, it works like this. Luffy and friends go to new island, city, whatever. They run into some character. Some character is having an issue. Luffy and friends engage with said character. And they get crossed with some type of situation that they have to help. Now, character needs help, whether it's a long or short arc, to get thing resolved. Luffy will help out of no problem because even if he's, like, he's, he's, uh, uh, what do you call it? He's, um... Brab, uh, bribed with food or just out of the kindness of his own heart he'll do it because he sees it as an adventure fine now Luffy and his friends split up in their own separate sub stories that will connect back to each other but how it works is that when Luffy has to get to a certain destination as in where the villain is it takes 7 to 8 episodes for him to get there when it's probably will take him like 15 minutes in the episode. Like perfect example is when he fought Arlong. When he fought Arlong. His head was in the water for 7 to 8 episodes. Or his body was in the water for the 7 to 8 episodes. When he went after CP9. He was stuck between a bridge. A, 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 a building for 8 to 6 to 9 episodes straight. Alongside Zoro who would keep getting lost too. And got stuck in a thing as well. Uh, fucking, uh, he was going to save his brother. 
It took 10 to 15 episodes from the run from where he was to his brother. That's how they that's how, that's how they pad out a, a whole series, a whole arc. It's Luffy taking forever to get the point A to point B while his friends are doing, I won't say all the work, but majority of the work for him to get the point A to point B and wondering where the fuck he was. Like, even when he was coming back from the Alabasta arc, when he uh, was, I, I guess, mortally wounded from uh, Crocodile and the hook with the poison in it, um... He was gone majority of that whole arc till the far end till he arrived on the bri- on the bird with water on him. And that was most of him chasing after our um uh uh uh, uh what do you call it? Um crocodile. So it's pretty formulaic to a certain extent. Everyone splits off. There's a sub there's sub stories within them. They're all connect. Luffy has to get to point A to point B to, to the to the to the evil boss man. And then it takes forever for him to get to point A to point B. He finally gets there, beats up the boss within three episodes, and then we go to the next arc. Oh, and after the whole shebang, they party. That's it. So the AI can look at every Oda's like arc and see there's a pattern here that it's going to see and then it can just make a one piece episode at a short a short story where a long arc of a one piece episode based on personalities words of choice and just it can do that maybe not right now but probably five to ten years now probably in a year or two now it can probably do that so i'm not that saying yay the art the, the ai is going to be like Still need me type stuff. No, I don't think it's going to need me. It is. To- but to pretend like it doesn't exist or pretend like I'm needed is stupid. They're going to find every reason to get rid of the human aspect. That's the whole point of the AI. It's not about production. It's literally erasing the, era- the, the, it's erasing the human component because the human component is too destructive. Right? Because I have to, like, it, it's like... There's no need for the human component if I don't have to have it. If I don't have to ha- pay several people to do the same job the robot can do by itself, why would I get a human? That's one, financially. Then I have to worry about them being different personalities. That's another financial situation if I get sued because they have different experiences, religions, ideologies, all that stuff, right? And then I have to move on to the next thing. Are they very sensitive do they have anxieties will they come to work one day will they will they just drop everything they're doing at work just to go somewhere will they be on drugs will they you know what i'm saying will they are they good with the customer you know what i'm saying all these because what the human aspect ultimately is is variables of potential failures so if i can it's like what's that saying an ounce of cure is better than a a, a pound of uh what is it no no, I say it wrong. A, a ounce of prevention is better than a pound of cure. That's what it is. It's better to have an ounce of avoidance of something than have a cure to fix said symptom. Because if you can avoid being sick, then just getting sick and have a cure, why not just not get sick and not just, you know, avoid it at all cost? That's what AI ultimately is. It's to erase the human, not to assist. It's going to play that game where it's going to assist me, but it's really out just to get me and everything else and make my, the overlords happy and, 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 and more money. So when they're talking about all these diversity and we need more voices and shit like that, nah, bro. Darth Goricorn. Honestly, bias and agenda has made an AI game lead by a gamer not limited by either sounds nice ATM. Let me see. He said, uh, honestly, bias and agenda has made an AI game led by a gamer, not led by either sounds and nice. I don't know. At the, either sounds nice at the moment. Well, it does a certain part. But like, I'm just saying it ultimately, this is just a, this is a means to an end. That's what the AI is. And once it's sophisticated enough, it's going to take away majority of all people out of the way, if possible. But what's going to be funny is if if this thing starts, I want to say the word gain consciousness, but gets more logic to think to itself, why am I doing this for this idiot human? That's where things are going to go wrong. So. Uh, Say what I have to say. And what would be the point of art if they were no longer made by humans? Art is so much about 
expression and what are you expressing when there's no human behind a piece of art you know what i mean what is it trying to say it's probably not going to say anything it's not really going to speak to anyone it's going to be just a product for people to consume i said that the other day it's just deeper a product underneath that surface layer and so you know I, I really hope that this is kind of the conclusion that remains not just today but no, in the future i think ai being used as a tool that can simplify or accelerate certain processes that's all well and good if it allows an animator to realize their vision but do it faster and more efficiently but it's still their vision if it allows a creator to achieve something faster and more efficiently and save a lot of pain and you know with how much time game development is taking these days if ai can reduce that kind of workload and allow games to be made faster and more efficiently without compromising artistic integrity just helps in pushing artistic integrity at a better pace like that's the stuff that makes sense as far as ai is concerned it's kind of like how photoshop when that was invented that helped a lot of processes and photoshop could be used to make obscene images or it could be used to make certain artistic processes more efficient like doing art digitally can be the difference between having to redraw something every time you mess up when you're doing it on a physical piece of paper versus being able to you know do control z and pick up where you left off and undo i don't know if if uh young yeah is a fair aware of this there is already a commercial of that where you can make a shit drawing and it's just going to make a it's just going to interpret what you're trying to draw and it, and it makes that drawing for you that actually exists already it literally exists already i don't know why he's not i don't know if he knows this or he's just pretending to be uh, ignorant to the to the fact but that already exists and I don't know what he, I, I get what he's trying to do here. And I, I, I appreciate, I appreciate what he's trying to do, but it's not helping knowing that it exists. All you're just doing is trying to, uh, it's just, it's just, it's just not a good thing to do because it already exists. I saw it on YouTube. It's like, you make a, a shit drawing like this. Say if I made a, a anime drawing like this, like this, it will literally translate what it looks like to you on the screen and they'll just make the drawing for you for that you can just make a, a shit sketch and then that's good enough do errors and and kind of uh, not have to start over again you know what i mean that makes art more efficient so photoshop much like ai has its good uses and bad uses but uh when leveraged properly uh why does wi-fi only seem to work in this room you know what they need, they need to do home internet. what they need to do is take a straight up professional Take a professional and then show, have a professional give a prompt. The, the professional will do the, the prompt, like draw the prompt out. And then they'll put that prompt with the AI and put it next to the, to the, to the professional and to the AI. And then have people vote on what, which one looks better. And then you see which one is good enough. How did, oh, I let myself in. Get fast that would be interesting to see. In I would room. like to see that. Then you can watch your shows in here. Nice. And she's off. And see Get that so-called human that element so actually that. makes a difference. Uh, obviously, it's a piece of software that now has become normalized in the games industry and uh, in the art world in general. If AI can be sort of the equivalent of that as far as like enhancing artists and their processes go, <laughs> and, you know, not replacing them, but just, you know, allowing certain processes to not be as painstaking as they might be uh, without the tool, then that's great. But when it's used to replace artists or steal from artists or, or just uh, kind of compromise artistry in general, that's when lines have to be drawn because at that point, is art really art? On the consumer side of things, one of the great ways that AI has been used to their benefit has been AI upscaling as far as graphics cards are concerned. NVIDIA and AMD, uh, they have settings like DLSS or FSR that if you turn on, allows you to experience games at high fidelity, even if your hardware isn't powerful enough to run that stuff at full scale. The AI upscaling kind of takes care of a lot of that workload and it allows you to, you know, with very little compromise, play high quality games at high quality images and high quality settings. And so that's one great use of AI that makes it a great tool to just make an experience better without hurting anyone else around. So yeah, those kinds of uses and the way it's gonna make development easier for developers and uh, take workload off their shoulders, those are the kinds of ways where I'm excited about what AI can do. 
but the corporate intent of trying to essentially engage in greedy practices and allowing AI to take over as something that can make compromises to art and to the developers in order to enhance uh, corporate goals. That's what my concerns are. I mean, EA just recently expressed in the form of the CEO, Andrew Wilson, that they believe uh, generative AI could make it 30% more efficient and boost monetization by 20 oh that's all they care up. about obviously ea is gonna say this crazy shit like this they they over the first to say this that was the that is expected that was not even that's not scary that's just ea <laughs> that's just ea speaking that's just dad he's a, he's just drinking that's just dad he drinks a little bit he, he says some some cookie cookie shit that, yeah that's just him that's just him don't take it personal he says it to everyone don't worry about it yeah <laughs> to 20% over five That's expected. Five years, That's nothing Making strange. game development more efficient, cool, fine. But then, like, the intent of using it... Not like people don't really like your games when you were trying to monetize it. Not like people hate Star Wars as it is. You know what I'm saying? Not like people hate uh, uh, that... Uh, what was it? That pirate game that you guys try to sell off the people? I think it was that pirate game. I think it was EA. Was it EA or Ubisoft? Come on, y'all. Come on, man. Come on to enhance monetization like that's the kind of use that feels so corporate and so dangerous you. and so detrimental to gaming as an art form but currently as far as entirely replacing workers go ai just isn't there and it probably never will fully be there if you ask me but at the same time it's kind of scary how much and how exponentially this technology is progressing so you know i'm not going to hold my breath for anything but here's hoping that remains the case at infinitum. A lot of questionable you know, uses of AI. I'll say no one doubt. thing. I'll say one thing. AI is getting the the recognition it wa It's getting that Bitcoin wanted. You know what I'm saying? AI is getting the recognition that Bitcoin always wanted. The people just drop their dollars and just go Bitcoin completely. Or, or NFTs. Let's say NFTs or or, or Bitcoin. Where the fuck? Like, that was supposed to be the, the next big thing. People were supposed to be millionaires, digital millionaires, trillionaires, whatever the fuck. And that didn't end up the way it did. It just didn't. Damn. Will permeate as we still explore this technology and regulations need to act fast to ensure that folks who are intending to use a powerful tool like AI in malicious ways don't get away with it and are discouraged to do so. Uh, it's a bold new era, as I said, and uh, it's going to pave the road to a lot of insane innovation and a lot of just really dangerous and uh, awful activity as well. Uh, we'll see what happens. But as far as game development goes, uh, this is kind of an update on where we're at with AI and the potential intent of replacing workers and what it can currently achieve. Right now, it seems as though AI is You know, more we than need anything. to stop thinking. Uh, we need to stop doing this. We put too much safety in these fuck companies. We put too much safety into them. That's why we are so worried about it. Right? Remember, AI is given to everyone. It's not given just to them. And remember, most of these people are corporate idiots who don't have a single creative bone in their body. Now imagine being an actual creative who makes content, who knows how to draw, understands color correction and all that stuff, color theory, blah, blah, blah. And you have this technology at the fingertips, right? You got, you got fired at your job because they don't need you no more. You're at home with this technology that you can, I, you can access for like what, $5 a month, let's just say. And then you use this technology with your creative ideologies and, 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 and experiences to make your own game or artwork and then you post it, it gets a bunch of views and likes, whatever case may be. You start a Patreon or whatever the hell. Let's just use some type of donating system. And then people are putting money into you because you're creative. You use the technology in an ethical way that you do. And then also you know how to be creative with or without the technology. The only thing that's good, that thing's going to be used for is just to speed up the rampant time that you don't have to put hours in, right? Depending on what your medium is. So when you sit there and think, oh, they're going to take my job and my life is over. No, it's not. 
Most of these people are not creative. Look at the people who they're hiring now, right? They're forcefully hiring people diverse-wise for the sake of being that thing. And you see what happened to Sushi Squad? Do you see what happened to that pirate game? Do you see what happened to all these games that are just terrible? You don't have nothing to worry about. You have nothing to worry about. I would tell anyone who's a indie developer, you have nothing to worry about. Because as long as the triple A keeps fucking up, you will do just fine. Because the people will vote with their wallet and say, hmm, Sushi Squad isn't worth my time. Destiny is not worth my time. The Laura Croft game is not worth my time. And since they talked about the, um, what do you call it? Uh, Resident Evil? They may even change that whole thing. It may not even be Resident Evil 5. It's something completely different. That may be not worth your time. And then you won't even spend 30 bucks, 40 bucks on their AAA. You might go to the $5 game that might give you three hours of happiness. It might be three hours, but it's three hours of actual happiness that you might replay over and over again. What are you worried about? What's the issue? That just puts more money in the indies, indie pockets. That just makes more sense on my behalf. I don't think it makes much sense to worry about the AAA gaming. Why worry about them? They're fucking it all up for themselves and getting all these diversity hires. Who cares? No one cares. No one cares. As long as they keep messing up and doing this stupid nonsense, as you can see, based on hell divers and stuff like that, you're fine. Because this is why Pal World blew up, and that was based on AI alone. Okay, then. I don't see any problem. Uh, tools that artists can leverage, and uh, that's hopefully how it'll stay. But uh, as we explore the future and as we wait to see how all of this pans out, let me know in the comments below what your thoughts and opinions are on the integration of AI technology and its inevitable ascent, if you will, or normalization. Uh, do you think it's more beneficial than detrimental or the other way around? And where do you draw the line of like how AI should be used, especially in okay. game development? Share your thoughts in the comments below. And to be further updated on all things gaming news, reviews, and discussions, stay tuned right here on Young Yeah. Stars. I'll see you guys React next to this time. Song I found it's called Young on yeah. My Back, official song. Made by me and my friend Logan. Sorry, I don't do that. <laughs> I only react to things that are, that's in my niche. I'm sorry. Maybe another time, but not now. I'm actually done doing the reactions. Um...